Hello, and welcome to the visual arts department portion of the senior award ceremony. In our department, we make art for two reasons. First, we believe that art creation is important in itself. It engages parts of our brains that other disciplines can't, and it reminds us that the world has more to offer than production and consumption. Second, we believe that in making art, we are learning valuable job skills like creative problem solving and critical thinking. And the following seniors have done these things throughout their careers. I, I had to choose six this year. Grace Harrison, Julia Fisher, Joe Lee Holland, Emma Gass, Riley Jones, and Trent Jones. Now, this is the part of the ceremony where normally I would call you guys up on stage and give you an art mannequin with your name on it. Unfortunately, as we know, we can't do that this year, so I was trying to think of what to do. What I'm going to do is show you guys and everyone else a few pieces of each of your artwork, and I'm going to say some really nice things about how awesome it is and some encouragement to you. So let's start out by looking at a few nice pieces by the artist Grace Harrison. Grace is a talented artist in a number of mediums. As you can see in this piece, she is an accomplished painter. There are two things in particular that I really appreciate about this artwork. First, this is a wholly original piece that Grace created from a brainstorming process that we learned from the artist Sterling Hunley. Once you know how to paint or draw, it can become easy to just copy good work, but Grace is showing her ability to create interesting work that is entirely her own vision. And secondly, this is an interesting piece. What I particularly appreciate about it is the intentional composition of color temperature. Look at how most of the pieces cool, blues, and greens, but the chameleon and the fire contrast with this in their warm reds, oranges, and yellows. This second piece shows how good Grace can be when she is studying a reference closely. The range of value from the highlight on the glasses and the teeth and shirt draw our attention. But as we continue to study the piece, we see the beautiful ways that she's been able to create the illusion of texture in the reflective glass and the woven shirt and the dreaded hair. Grace, you are a talented artist, and I hope that you continue to find the time to create such beauty in our world. Now let's move on to some work by the artist Julia Fisher. Julia is a very meticulous artist, and this comes out most in her painting work. She really enjoys detail, and you can see that in this piece as you look at the way she has used her brushwork to create the detailed illusion of the wolf's fur. Even seemingly random details such as the snow are never random in Julia's work, as I know that she is the kind of artist who intentionally placed and painted each one of those snowflakes. You can see that same attention to detail on the ceramic piece. I appreciate the way that she has repeated design elements throughout this teapot. Each mushroom cap and shelf fungi work together to provide a consistent aesthetic to this piece. Even the spout has been incorporated into the overall aesthetic so that it doesn't seem like a foreign addition. Julia, I hope that you continue to apply this same attention to detail and care to your future endeavors. If you do, you stand a strong chance of being successful in any career that you choose. Now let's look at some of the work by the artist Jolie Holland. Jolie has done a lot of strong work for me throughout her McConaughey career, particularly as a painter. This piece that she did this year really shows that off. There were other more detailed pieces I probably could have shown you, but this one has an energy to it that I really like. It's my favorite. It's a simple, energetic composition, but all the work in this piece is in the energy of the mark making. Look at the built up texture of her brushwork and the way that she's mixed the paint on the canvas to create such a variety of bold value contrasts. This other piece is an altered book project. And while Jolie may have wished that I would have shown you another painting, I wanted to show this piece so that you could see how she's been able to problem solve and apply her painting skills in other areas. I like her choice of colors here. Purple and yellow are contrasting colors, but they aren't clashing here. They seem to be in perfect harmony in the way that they have both consistently been lightened and brought closer together in value. The real depth of the carved pages works well with the illusion of depth in the clouds. 
It's a really fun piece. These two pieces symbolize Jolie to me and their energy and joy. Jolie, I hope you continue to make art, but even more importantly, I hope you continue to bring energy and joy to everything you choose to do. The work of the artist Emma Gass is always impressive to me. I really like this drawing that she did. If you can make an interesting value statement, then you can always make an interesting artwork, and this piece really does that well. I love comparing the value treatment and the two eyes. This other piece by Emma shows that same attention to detail as the last one. Look at the consistency in her wire work. Look at the random organic feel to the tree structure and the way the petals seem to flow from the wire itself. Emma is meticulous and she will see her vision through for a piece no matter how long it takes her. This persistence is what I appreciate most about Emma. If she has a goal, she will work and work and work to see it through. This can't be taught, but it can lead to successful artwork and success in life. Now, I would say I bear very little responsibility for the success of the artist Riley Jones. She's not only naturally gifted, but proves how being intelligent and problem solving can make for really good artwork. This ceramic piece shows her problem solving skills. I can tell the way she has worked by adding clay and by carving away clay. I can see the way she's had to figure out how to develop the texture she wanted, both in the body of the wave and its crest. Part of being a good artist is exploring and trying new things, and I think the blue and green pool of glass exemplifies this. It is the answer to the question, what will happen if we put some marbles there? The second piece by Riley shows this problem solving as well. Of course, I could talk about her attention to accuracy in creating the facial features and the way she has developed the illusion of hair out of mud. But what I love the most is the ways she was able to blend different crayons and ink on the surface. This is not easy to do, believe me, but she pulled it off professionally. Riley, I hope that you continue to see the ways that creative problem solving in the arts can enhance any career that you choose in life. Now, for those of you keeping score at home, you'll know that our final artist is the first artist to ever accidentally receive a senior award two years in a row. Trent's work has been so good for so long that I thought he was a senior last year. Oh well. Trent is good. He's really good. My favorite student artists are always those who not only are talented, but also willing to explore and try new creative things, willing to problem solve. I mean, check out this piece. It not only shows Trent's prowess with pen and brush, but also his problem solving skills. This second level kind of creativity is what has the potential to make an artist like Trent stand out. Trent had a lot of nice paintings I could have shown, but I chose this self-portrait because, again, it shows his creativity. Trent, you have the potential to do art for a career, and if you want to do so, I encourage you to follow that dream. Folks, this is why I teach art. The world is a better place when you get to be around cool kids like this who are bringing such beauty into our world. If you want to see more student work created by all students from this year from all different grade levels, then please check out the link for the Maconaqua High School Student Art Show 2019-2020 somewhere on the high school's homepage. And as always, make art, not war.